Hi, this is Keaton Car 89 with another one of my 1.6 collector figures. This time it's a DC Direct 1.6 scale Shazam figure from the DC Comics Captain Marvel. I'll just scroll down the actual box so you can get a look at the figure as it appears on packaging. As you can see, 13 inch deluxe collector's figure by DC Direct. I'll just spin the box around and you can take a look at the back. There's Shazam on the spine and on the back a nice picture of the figure. Scrolling down you can see the gold thunderbolt on his chest. Scrolling down as well on the right hand side or the left hand side excuse me you can see the uh, Mr. Mind figure that comes with it and I'll just zoom in on that. DC Direct introduces the Shazam 13 inch deluxe collector's figure. Realistically proportion this fully poseable 1 6 scale figure has 28 points of articulation and is clothed in Shazam's iconic authentically detailed costume. The deluxe figure includes Mr. Mind figure and a display stand. Right so 13 inches high, it's 1 6 scale. Now we'll come back to that point and I'll just scroll over to the figure. Starting at the top, it's not a bad uh, Captain Marvel or Shazam head as is it's now called Shazam in the comics from the New 52 era. But I will say that just scrolling, scrolling across to the actual box compared to the figure head, I'm guessing that the figure head on the box for photographic purposes was super lit and maybe had a touch of extra paint and detail put on it, a little bit of extra paint time to really make the head look a lot more like Alex Ross's interpretation of the character from Kingdom Come. But we'll stay on the figure. As I say, just scrolling down so you can look at the figure, you can see the first problem that we run into, but we'll come back to that. We'll start at the bottom. Scrolling down, very musculature on the legs, quite sizable calves and we'll just stop on the base and I'll show you the first problem which we have with this figure um, you can't really read it on the uh, on this video but very closely upon inspection if you can see it under better lighting I don't think you can and that is one of the problems is that it has Shazam written across the base but because it's just outlined in black on a black base in a cabinet you wouldn't really see it unless you had down lights pointing directly onto it so I would have had the uh, Shazam logo in the uh, the gold font that you see on the box but we'll scroll up the figure and you can see that the boots really should have been a golden color to match all the detailing on the outfit and I've come across as a kind of a caramel colour. Okay, I uh, would have preferred the gold uh, colour wash to it, but uh, it's something that maybe could be modded or repainted with a fabric gold. Scroll up. I have no problems with the character's um, musculature. Very strong and striking on legs, certainly. And we'll just pause there, and we'll have a look just at the arms here where all the gold that was on the fabric or the majority of it has flaked away now this item was new in box when I received it I pulled all the twist ties myself and you can see they would not been uh, opened before they were as tight as can be so over time this figure has lost a lot of the gold detailing on the arm gauntlets so maybe again some fabric paint, gold fabric paint has to be used to uh, bring back the luster. And I'll just move centrally onto the belt as well and move the cape out of the way slightly. You can see that it's just 
a gold belt. However, in the comics, there's a knot on the side of the belt and it drapes away into a kind of a double, a double ribbon. And that detail has clearly been missed on this figure. The fists are nice. Nice musculature on the arms. Very wide on the lats and very barrel chested. So the body, really no complaints about that. Given the 13 inch height of it, it does look a little bit gangly. Um, maybe um, at 12 inches with still this muscul musculature on it, it would have looked far better. Maybe in the vein of the, uh, the current Justice League Superman, which is really heavily musculature packed. And uh, if this was a 12 inch figure, I might consider doing a body swap for that. And uh, at the moment, this figure certainly I think needs some attention and as you can see front and center on camera the actual Thunderbolt has lost a lot of its gold leaf as well on the box as I scroll across you can clearly see that is gold and on here it's kind of a rustic orange color not the same color as the belt and certainly nowhere near the uh, the gold that should have been on the gauntlets as well so it should have been matching right across the uh, the figure and in this instance it's just lost a whole lot of coloration it looks almost orange or a, or a rust brown when you when you see it I think that's the best angle you can you can clearly see it's been discolored right I'm just scrolling up to the cape this is one of my favorite parts of the figure absolutely fabulous detail on the knots there that go right up to the to the collar and it's attached with a kind of a rope that hangs around the neck which is accurate to the figure it just hangs loosely on on the shoulders you can clearly see the button there which it, this uh, panel is fake it actually does zip from the back on the figure but the detailing of the cape, I'll just scroll that around. It's kind of a half cape. Which is really nice in detail. As I say, it's come straight out of the box. So it do, will need a bit of steam to maybe just drop the, uh, drop the tightness out of it and just loosen it up a little bit. It should drop just behind his tricep there, which again, very nice musculature on the back of the arms. It goes into a kind of a loose collared fitting on that. I'll just stay on the head there and just say disappointed really at the, uh, the cut of the neck that it didn't maybe taper a little lower rather than being almost like a, a square cut onto the head. I'll just scroll back around so you can have a look at the, the jawline in profile. The actual jaw looks very good on the figure. A bit of uh, difference in uh, color from the head and the neck, but forgivable once you move it into position. But again, I think there's a good sculpt, un sculpt under there for the head, excuse me, uh, but I just think it needs better paint. I think a you know, touch of paint work or just take it back to its original, original mold and just do a repaint on it. I think that would just I don't know. I, th I think the sculpt is there. I really do. But again, this figure does need some attention. I will say the stand on this is terrible. I'm, it, it's really, it's not a good stand at all. You have kind of a little, little push pin there that drops it down. But really, you can't put it in any other position. And the, uh, the, the black grip around his, around his waist it's not really flattering to the figure at all. I, I'd possibly go for uh, a crutch grab on this one. But again, with a the, with the bright red outfit, it'll stick out like a sore thumb. So really, it's it's kind of, you know, which which way, whichever way you go with a stand, it's it's going to be obvious he's, he's posed on one. And um, unless you maybe go for a clear, a clear stand, which may be a little less obvious, 
and unsightly. But overall, I'm happy with the figure. I'm, I've a lot, lot of a lot of complaints about it, but uh, they are just aesthetic and can, for the most part, be uh, remedied with some uh, TLC. But what I will say is that this figure again is one six scale advertised by DC Direct, and it comes with two additional pieces for the actual figure, some flat hands. Now, clearly, when you actually see these up close, if we can get the zoom on that and uh, get them into focus, whether you can just see that right in the middle of the palm there is a peg, kind of like uh, where, the, where it's been uh, broken from the, from the original molding. It's, it's kept a kind of a, a peg mark where it's just been snapped away it's as plain as plain can be when you when you see it it's it's impossible to hide it it's it's really obvious and the hands kind of being perfectly flat don't really convey any pleasing aesthetic to them nice vein work on the hand i will say but having a, a flat flat uh, wrist as well is just not pleasing they just look unsightly as a hand other than that I mean both hands are the same both left and right and the other figure as you can see which was on the back of the box is this little guy Mr. Mind it is just basically a caterpillar This will stay in the box, I think, because if you, you knock it or it gets knocked off the stand or you lose it in the cabinet, you'll never find it again. <laughs> One place it'll end up is in the vacuum cleaner. So I won't be keeping that. But it does really show the origins and the rid ridiculousness of the character, having a, a kind of a bookworm as a main villain. I know that... Uh, with Dr. Sylvanas in Kingdom Come. He used the worms to uh, pervert Billy's mind into being basically his puppet. So, you know, there is a relevance to the character, but uh, not really something you'd want to sort of have posed with the figure. Um, now, as I said, one six scale. So I'm going to bring in on the same kind of relevant base Superman from an earlier kit bash video and as you can see Marvel towers over him now okay you can turn around and say that uh, Captain Marvel is uh, you know the wizard Shazam and he has the godlike power so why should he be normal human size but uh, certainly the detail on the face clearly nowhere near as detailed as anything like a Hot Toys or a Kit Bash head. Nothing even close. So really, um, if you're going to try and pose it with uh, your figures, you're going to run into a problem. It's going to look like a toy. Um, so unless you can find a, uh, a Kit Bash head slightly oversized to make it appropriate to to this 13 inch or maybe modify it with maybe a gang hood body that would maybe fit into that outfit i don't know i don't think even think it would i think it would be too big then um but we'll see what we can do with this figure anyway that's pretty much it so thanks for watching share like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Shazam!